might remember that a couple of videos ago, I printed the first version of this type. It looked great and I really liked it, but there were many things that I wanted to change. It was, for example, it was very short and it had some blue things poking out of the back that I didn't really like. So I decided to improve the design, print it again and make a version 2. I'm very satisfied with how this one turned out. There are some things that I still want to improve, but there are just very small details in the build. This is not gonna be a standard build video like the ones I usually do, since the build process is almost the same as the version 1, so I don't want to bore you with the same thing over and over again. Instead, I'm just gonna walk you through the things that I improved and the challenges that I had building. The first thing that I decided to change was the length of the tie. It was very short and I didn't go all the way down to my belt. I didn't really like how it looked, so I decided to go back to the design and improve it. I added 2 inches of length and that also added some width at the bottom which I really liked. The printer has a very large build plate of 10 by 10 by 10 inches, but still it was a challenge to print this in two pieces like I did last time, so I had to split it up into three different sections. Still, it didn't make much of a difference because once it was assembled, you couldn't even tell it was more than one piece. The next thing that I changed was the back of the tie. Even though you don't see it all the time, whenever you flip it around or you want to show it to somebody, you see these blue things popping out of the back and I didn't like it at all. So I decided to change the design and to make the hex pattern show up both in the front and in the back. This didn't take much and it looks a lot better now. Here you can see how it looks with the two PLA pieces from both in the front and on the back. The next thing that I changed was the Ninja Flex. Uh, before it was an eighth of an inch thick and now it's just a sixteenth. Why? Because since I added more PLA it needed to be more flexible. Also, uh, when I was assembling before, it was very hard to push the pins through and some of them actually broke. So I decided to make it thinner, to make it more flexible and to make assembly easier. Last thing, this is really just because of looks. It didn't really matter much, but I still wanted to change it, is the texture. Before, I printed it downwards so the PLA pieces grab the texture of the blue painter's tape. And it has like a fake leather texture that I don't really like. So now I print it the other way around so it has the printing lines and I really like it a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one every week. Also, check out the related videos, you might like them.